I'm Kara Whitehead, and I'm the technology coordinator for Boas City Schools in Alabama. I also have the privilege of being a Google certified trainer. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a workflow using Google Forms and a add-on called Form Approvals. In our school system, we were needing a way that we could send one form from one person for approval to the next person to approve to the next person to approve. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that using Google Forms. First, I'm going to go to forms.google.com. In the bottom right hand corner of your screen, you have this red plus mark. You're going to click on it to create a form. I'm going to call my form just for this purpose is technology purchases. But before I continue, I'm going to get my add-on. So I'm going to go to these three circles that say more, and I'm going to go to add-ons, and I'm going to look for the one form approvals. Add-ons are simply what they say. You add it on to a form, a document, a sheet, and it's going to give you some extra tools to use to make it functional for what you need. So I'm going to go to form approvals. You're going to get this green square, Robert Gagliano. That's the right one that you need and click free. When you do that, you're going to need to sign in with your account. You have to have a Google account to do this. You're going to allow. And then it's going to approve it and you're just going to say, got it. All right, now I'm going to continue making my form. Technology purchases. In our school system, every technology purchase needs to be approved by me, the technology coordinator. But it's also important that if a teacher submits that, that the principal knows about it, that the bookkeeper knows about it, that maybe our CFO knows about it, our accounting department. So we're going to make sure we create that workflow so everyone has a chance to approve that purchase or deny that purchase for a reason. You can also use this for professional development, for early leave, for any reason you need that it needs to go through multiple people. So I'm going to title my form technology purchases. My first question is going to be name. It automatically defaults to a short answer, but you have this long list of different kinds of answer choices you can have. I'm going to add, I need to know what school they're in. So I want to make it rather than them write it because some may write it with initials and some may write it with the word school and some may not. I want to do a checkbox and I'm just going to have Boaz Elementary School, Corley Elementary School, Boaz Intermediate School, and so on. I'm going to add a question. I'm going to put amount of purchase and it's short answer. And then I'm going to say um, purchase, um, I'm going to call it item of purchase. It doesn't really matter what you call it, as long as the ones who you're sending it to know. But for our purposes, it doesn't matter. All right, this is the form I want people to fill out to get to me. But I need it to go through that approval process. So I'm going to go up to add-ons. It's this little puzzle piece. And I'm going to pick form approvals, configure workflow. You're going to get this little box here. First, you need your list of approvers. These are the people who it's going to flow through. So the teacher's going to fill it out and I want it to go to the principal first. I'm just going to use some test emails that we have, but um, you would put your principal's email. After the principal, it needs to go to the technology coordinator. So I'm going to put my email, again, just some test emails. After it goes from the principal to the technology coordinator, then it needs to go back to the bookkeeper. And this is the our workflow. You can do it whatever way you find is best for your organization. And then after the bookkeeper approves it, I need it to go back to the principal. All right, I've got the people I want to have it. You can have as few or as many as you need. You're going to go here to set approving order. This is the order that it's going to flow through. Well, if I decide 
I want the bookkeeper to get it before the technology coordinator. I can just swap those numbers and then it'll put the order in correctly for me. Before I get ready to save, I'm going to go to settings. We're not going to do anything with restrict request tracking because we want to be able to see that tracking. We don't want respondents to be able to edit the approvers. We don't want them to go in there and say, oh, we want to add so-and-so or take away so-and-so. But we do want the approver to have a chance to comment. So if you say, uh, this is too much, or you want to say, please fill out correctly, or if you need to just put a comment, I agree to this purchase, whatever. Then go to notifications. You want to notify approvers of the workflow. So when it's time for them to approve the workflow, you want them to get an email that it's time. And they're also going to get your comments. Notify others would be if you want a certain person, maybe the superintendent doesn't need to be in the workflow, but they want to see those things that are happening. You would not put an individual teacher because it's going to, everything in this workflow, everything in this form would go to that one person. So just make sure it's somebody who needs to see it. All right, now we're ready to click save. Takes it just a second, but then it's going to be successfully saved and you're ready to send your workflow. So I can send it by going to send. I can either email it to the people who need it. If I want it to go to all teachers or I want to put it on a website or whatever, I can have a link or I can embed it. So those are your, your ways to share it. I'm going to just do preview just for our purposes to show you. So I'm going to fill in my purchases and I'm going to buy a projector. Okay, and I'm going to submit. All right, now watch what happens. I'm going to go to my first person was pirate at bosk12.org. I'm going to reload it and here I have an approval required. I'm going to click on it. I can say, oh, okay. I approve that. That's good. So I'm going to approve it. It's going to go to this screen. So that person's approved it. It's taking it just a second. It's just saying my response has been recorded. Now, the next person is going to pick it up and they're going to look at it and they're going to say, mm, a projector for $15,000, a little much. So they're going to comment, let's or look for a cheaper price. But they're still going to approve it because, okay, you can get the projector, submit. All right, so once it gets to submit, it's going to automatically, once you submit it, go to that next person. Okay, now here I am. It's now gotten to the technology coordinator, the bookkeeper, the whoever, and I'm thinking, no way you're going to do this. I'm going to decline it. So now our workflow is stopped. We can't have it because it's declined it. But now it's going to go back to our original person. And it's going to say that this workflow has been declined. And I'm needing to go back in my email. I'm sorry. Right here. Request declined. So I can forward that to my teacher or I can call them in and sit down and have a talk. So this is just a great way to have that workflow for free. If you have any questions, be sure and email me. Um, my contact information is cwhitehead at boaz, B-O-A-Z, K-1-2 dot org. Thank you and have a good day.